Welcome back. This is Andrew Sears again, and we are now to the final project. And there's going to be a two iterations on that, keeping in with the theme that you always iterate on things. Um, the first iteration is just going to be a presentation. We're not, there's not going to be any recording. It's just going to be the PowerPoint. And um, if you want, you can move to your own PowerPoint template for this. Um, but we want you to have the slides that are that are there. And um, so, you know, you would put whatever summary, um, you know, title slide. And the, these first two slides you're going to de delete. But the idea is you're really trying to sell with this thing. You're not trying to answer all the questions. You're not to, um, you know, you may not get a direct investment, um, but it's to open their minds and get them excited. Um, and you want them to have more of a conversation. So um, you want to get enough information to grab their interests, but not too much. Um, give them something to get excited about. So it should be able to stand on its own, um, even if you didn't present it live. Um, so, you know, try, that's why it's only 10 to 13 slides um, and you can use your own PowerPoint template, but you should use, you know, the basic slides. Um, if you want to get an idea of, you know, where would you use a template like this? You know, one could just be to a funder. So you could have a, a major donor, you could have a, um, a, a grant, you know, some sort of foundation, or there's these um, Christian investor for, forums that fund um, both Christian business um, entrepreneurs or um, social um, entrepreneurs. And you can look at these to try to get an idea of, okay, what, what would you, you know, do for these? And you actually look at some of their presentations. I think in this course, your presentation is going to be a little more detailed and have more information, partly to just demonstrate that you have mastered all the ideas of the course. Sometimes, you know, people in these presentations will do two or three slides. Um, but uh, I think that, you know, it all depends on the context. And in many of those contexts, they're actually not, you know, it's more like an introduction um, than anything else. So, um, all right. So the basic outline that you want to have is your elevator pitch. You've heard the phrase elevator pitch. What it is, is if you got an elevator and were going 10 floors and you had to try to sell someone on your idea and you had 30 seconds to do it, how would you do that? So you want one that's kind of the summary of everything. The second one is why should they trust you? You know, your momentum, your traction, your expertise, um, your market opportunity, you know, try to decide, define the size of the, the market and your um, customer base. Um, why are you, you, you know, what's the problem and um, who's trying to solve it and what need do you feel that other people aren't doing? Um, so what's your program? Um, what's your, your business model, your key revenue streams, your market approach and strategy, your team? financials, competition, and investment. So I'll, I'll do a deeper dive on this. So the, the vision elevator pitch is, this is gonna be your one slide. If they, they only saw one thing, then this is how you would summarize what it is that you're doing. So keep it short and memorable. So you're gonna replace this um, with, with that. So this is really the one that shows that you're moving. So you wanna, um, you know, people to, to see that, you know, if, if you're, say a rescue mission going into a new space, right? And you're gonna do a, a social enterprise um, and you know, you would show, okay, you've been around for a hundred years, you've been really successful. Um, you've had two other social enterprises that have brought in millions of dollars and this is gonna be your third social enterprise and this is why you're, this is gonna be a home run. You know, they, they wanna know that um, you could, you know, use some customer success stories or other testimonials, you know, if you're um, of people who, who you've worked with, you could you know, use press partnerships and other things. Um, you know, all this again is to build trust. So the market opportunity, um, you know, if it's a nonprofit, who are you serving? And, uh, you know, what, what space are you in? Who, who are your clients? What are the big trends out there? Um, and then ultimately what's the real problem, the need that you're solving, you know, who else is out there? What are you doing that makes you unique or better at it? Right. So, um, then, the product program service tell the story of your customers and how customers will use your value um, product program or service so um yeah so that's kind of self-explanatory you know if you're serving particular clients you can kind of talk about that you can do some images um and and then talk through now most often if you're doing a big presentation in front of a crowd you're not going to go in this level of detail i actually you know sometimes i'll do a slide like this and I would cover it fairly quickly. Um, I would try to, you know, make it um, 
you know, I, I've actually presented to, to donors who like to see this type of thing and they say, show it to me all in one page. And I, I sent them this and then they digested it. Um, but there's, this is probably going to be a little more busy than you're going to be able to cover. But what I would do if you're presenting on this, so, so fill this out in detail, just like you did. So, so the full detail, I, I think we want you to have here. But then if you're presenting it, you're probably going to, you know, focus on a few key aspects of this. Um, and then you're going to go deeper on your revenue model. Um, this would be where you show, you know, some budget, um, you know, where you getting your money from, um, how are you growing, um, and how are you going to continue to grow? Um, you know, a lot of these things are parallel. If you've written grants, um, this is similar to, to what you would include in, in grants, the teams, you know, why should they trust you based on your team, um, your financials, um, so this is not just revenue, but also um, the expense and, um, you know, who's your competition? What are your advantages? And uh, and then if you're, you know, try to make a pitch and, you know, you could have multiple pitches. Um, if, if you say you want you envision this to a donor and you want them to give one hundred thousand dollars, try to explain what that hundred thousand dollars is going to provide or fifty thousand dollars is going to provide. Um, or if you're selling this internally to your organization, say, you know, if they give you a budget of $50,000 of seed funding, you know, why this, this would be um, a good idea. And then, you know, your status and milestones. So, um, so what you're going to do in this is you are first going to just upload the presentation. Your faculty is going to give you feedback and other students are going to give you feedback. We expect you to do significant iterations and, and revisions on this. And then, so that's, that's week seven in the course. And then in week eight, um, you're going to update your presentation, but then you're going to actually do a recording. So you're going to use the same tool I'm using to record. It's called Screencast-O-Matic. Um, here's the login information. And then um, you... Um, you need to upload both your presentation, a new copy of your presentation using either PowerPoint or Google Slides, but you also need to upload a link to your YouTube video um, presentation. And I'm gonna add in some more links here that will help you um, with some of the tips of how to do this. This is part of you know, the learning process in this course is to figure out how do you do a screencast. So if you run into problems, you can ask your faculty again, um, but be sure you take extra time on this one. Do not wait until Sunday night to do this because you're probably going to run into technical issues and um, we don't want you to be late. So um, thank you for participating in this course. I hope that you've learned a lot in this course and uh, I'll be excited to see um, how you all do. So thanks a lot.